Hello YouTube and welcome to another episode of my Manchester United career mode on FIFA 23. How you doing? Hope you're well. Thank you very much for joining me today. Before we start, please hit that like button if you do enjoy the episode. And also, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell so that you know when a new video does come out. Today we have two big games just before Christmas. We have Tottenham Hotspur and Brentford. So since we last met in the 1-0 win against Sociedad, we have played five, five games since then. The first game was a 2-0 win away to uh, Everton. Goals coming from Anthony. Anthony with two goals. He is one of our main goal threats along with Ronaldo. On my left hand side, Sancho and uh, Rashford are not really bagging the goals. But Anthony getting himself to gives a 2-0 win and a clean sheet. Next we played Southampton and again Anthony was on the score sheet. We won 2-0 but also on my left hand side Sancho was on the score sheet. I, know, I just said 10 seconds ago that they've been poor on my left. But they scored a cut of a goal for a 2-0 win. Then came a 1-0 win over Leicester City. Cristiano Ronaldo back on the score sheet after not scoring for a couple of games now. I was getting a little bit worried. Don't worry, he's not suspended. I don't know. He just, he's been unlucky. He's had chances, but we just couldn't put him in. But in this game, Ronaldo gets on the score sheet and gives us a 1-0 win. Next, we have... Oh, here we go again. Google's not available right now, so we're going to go for it. We're going to attempt to say it. Radomiak Random. Oh, that sounds about right. I'm happy with that. We'll have that. Radomiak Random a 1 0 win with my youth team. I put all the youth players on because we've already got top spot in the group, so I put youth teams on. Knowing we had a big game coming in the Premier League in a couple of days, so I thought I'd rest some, but well, basically everyone. And we win 1 0. A Anthony Martial goal. When I say youth team, I have that. no other youth strikers. And Martial hasn't played, just come back from injury, so it would be right to play him. His goal separates us a 1 0 win. Then we come to our first loss of the season we lost 2-1 to Wolves um it was a weird one it was one of those like you know you you're gonna lose anyone who plays FIFA knows this you know when you're gonna lose when certain things that you've been doing all season don't work your passes are short the players are mistackling they look tired even though they're fresh they look tired we lose 2-1 Ronaldo getting us the constellation goal in 80 off minute I can't remember what minute it was to be precise and then that was it. None of our players could do anything. We couldn't do nothing for a good, i say, three quarters of the game. The players just didn't want to play. Passes are going astray. They're looking tired, getting outpaced. Don't get me wrong, Wolves, they were, they were tough to beat, but well, tough to break down. So that's it's our first defeat of the season. So Invincibles, we are not. I'm afraid. And I was going to move it up to Legendary and change some sliders. Still might change some sliders. The sliders, since the recent update, they're not quite as... don't make it as realistic as it was before. So I'm looking for some new sliders, looking online. Um, hopefully the next couple... Of, hopefully in, for January's games, we'll whack them new sliders in and maybe up the difficulty, depending on how we got on today. So the league table currently stands like this. We are sitting second in the league. Chelsea are sitting top. But have played a game more and a mere point more than what we've got. Liverpool sit in third on 35 points, four points off us. And also our Spurs, who are today's opponents on 35. Leicester are fifth. Man City are sixth, which is a bit of a surprise. Villa are seventh. Arsenal sit in eighth. West Ham are ninth. Tenth is Leeds. Eleventh is Brentford. Brighton sit in twelfth with Fulham 13th. Newcastle are 14th. Everton 15th. Wolves are 16th. And that's their only second win of the season against us. Wow. Uh, Southampton are 17th. Not in the forest currently sit in the relegation zone with Crystal Palace and Bournemouth. Bournemouth yet to pick up a win after 17 games in the Premier League played. Right then, here we go. The starting lineup for us against Spurs like it was played last night. Yeah, here we go. Hopefully looking for the same sort of result but without Ronaldo walking off. Ronaldo starts. We're starting him. We've got De Gea in goal. We've got Dalo, Varane, Martinez, Malasia, Casemiro, Eriksen, Sancho, Anthony, Fernandez, And up top is I'm going to have a salt and walk off because I didn't get picked. Ronaldo. Uh, Spurs are going for the uh, 5 2 3, like they did last night. Um, looks very similar to the team they had last night. But, right, let's get into it. Let's go to Old Trafford. Under the lights, it's Christmas time. It might be bits of snow. Let's hope for snow. We have snow this year. Snow at Christmas. And welcome everyone to England's Northwest. 
the action soon to get underway here at Old Trafford. I'm Derek Ray at the microphone, and joining me for match commentary is Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Manchester United up against Tottenham Hotspur. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponents, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And number seven, Cristiano Ronaldo. Here we go, under the lights of Old Trafford. Unfortunately, there's no snow, which is a shame. But Verlander straight in like he was last night. Keep mentioning last night. Man, I played Tottenham last night in the league. Oh, that's a nasty tackle by Kane. That's a booking, definitely. Kuzeski. Dirty. Ball's gone out for a throw. And as I mentioned... Harry Kane has picked up a book and it was a nasty tackle. It was a late early on. Making sure we knew he was there. We know all about Harry Kane. Sanchez brings it forward for Tottenham. Son. But Sanchez. Holberg. Dallo gets it back. It's Ronaldo. Can he get away from the defenders? He's going towards goal. Only Hugo, Hugo Luis to save it. Oh, it's off the top of the bar. Bounces down, but not over the line. Good chance. Ronaldo. Oh, uh, Persich gets the tackle in. Here comes Mink Sung, King Sung Min. Or Sun from Tomino. Martinez is absolutely bulldozed into him. <laughs> oh, it's always going to be a free kick all day long. Martinez doesn't know what to do with himself. He literally just rugby tackled him. But get out. Casemiro to win it. Ronaldo wins it. Fernandez. Casemiro, the count was on. Ronaldo. Anthony's done well. Go past one. Still running with it, but Dyer is a Kieran Dyer then. That's old school, but Kieran Dyer. Good tackle. Kane there with it. Brings it forward for Spurs, but ram of a good tackle. Casemiro. Fernandez. Ronaldo. Left foot of the ball again. Oh, Anthony whips it. Saved by Luis. Sanchez chasing it. Ronaldo's twice hit the bar now. Looking strong in the last couple of minutes of that first half, but it's been a scrappy game. Both teams can't keep holding the ball. And the cold's getting to them. Yeah, we haven't created many chances in that first half. Second half, hopefully we can press on. Fernandez oh, blocked out by Hoiberg. We need to get out on the wings, I think. This will look most dangerous. Kane's in. Kane shoots. Big save by David De Gea. Don't give that man a chance to shoot at goal because he will nine times out of ten hit the target. Got to focus now. Let's get this ball cleared. Crosses in. Martinez. Anthony, a great header. Let's find Pentecure. Kuzeski. Out wide the sun. Lays it off to Pentecure. Kuzeski. 
Kuzeski, good save down with the hair. Shifts it past Martinez. Gets a shot on target. I'm going to play it short. Son. Oh, he's tripped me. Cleared by Darlow. Fenton cure. Kane's giving it away. Ronaldo. Oh, can't keep hold of it. Casemiro sweeps up. Ronaldo and Erickson coming off for Rashford and Fred. See if we can get him on the break. Change player. It's a great save, David De Gea. Just didn't pick up. Wouldn't change player quick enough, basically. Gone short, Perisic. Anthony picks it up. Darlow, giving it away. Yeah, it's another shot, but it's straight at the hair. The hair has been the busy of the keepers in a weird way. Benton Cool. Malasio blocks it. Sancho. Fernandez. Oh, you. Referee did play an extra minute, in all fairness. But nil, nil. That's two games without a win. Struggled to create anything. They were solid, Spurs. The Conte team are always going to be solid at the back. But nil, nil. Hit the bar twice through Ronaldo on his left foot and his right foot. Second half didn't really test Luis whatsoever. Nil, nil. We'll take a point. Clean sheet, anyway. So, nil, nil. Never mind. But it has just occurred to me. We're coming up to the January transfer window and there's a few players who need contracts renewing if we're going to renew them at all. So, what we got? Tom Heaton's in seven months. I'm not too worried about Tom Heaton. Luke Shaw. Now, Malassia's played really well. He's been playing fantastic. Luke Shaw's played a few games. And we do have a very good young player coming through the youth system with a possible 88-94 rated left back. So, Luke Shaw, thank you for your time at United, mate, but I think your time might be done. Uh, Brandon Williams we have sold to Monaco he's joining when, in January when the transfer window opens Phil Jones he's transferred this season he's got 7 months left on his contract no one wants him we ain't gonna redo we ain't gonna give him a new deal uh, Tunisabi could be off to um, Lazio they've come in they've made an offer down to him whether he accepts it he's not played enough games so it makes sense for him to go Bernard is joining Besiktas when the transfer window opens he's not played enough so we're gonna let him go Diego Dallo, our number one right back. Now, we haven't been able to find a new right back. So, I think we need to sort him out. Give him a new deal. Oh, they're nice cakes. Lovely buns. I love dessert buns. Well, it's a two-year deal. So, moving on, could you include a 42 release clause? He wants a release clause? Manchester United don't really do release clauses, but I'll give what he wants. All right, wages. He's on 67. So, if I go... I'll give him 75. That's a sign -in bonus. What sign -in bonus should I give him? 20, I don't know, 25? Give him 30 great K sign -in bonus. See about 75K, 30K bonus. Darlow, there we go. New contract, Diego Darlow. He's now going to be here for another few more years. Next up, we have uh, Charlie Savage. It's off on loan to a Benevinto uh, when the transfer window opens. Fred. Now, Fred hasn't played enough. I don't know. Uh, write in the comments what you think I should do with Fred. Should we ex give him a new contract or let it expire? I, it's 29 years old, so I'll try and get a younger team. But I don't know if anyone, what I'll do with Fred. I'm going to transfer list him and see if anyone bites as well. If no one bites, and we'll see. If anyone, no one offers him a contract either, we'll see. Ganacho. He, he's a youngster, 18 years old. We've got to give him a chance. Got to give him some time. We'll give him a contract. We'll see what he wants. Uh, what's he currently on squad role? He wants a three-year deal. That's fine. Give him a three years. He wants six k and a fifty-three thousand pound sign-on bonus. Yeah, you can have that. Cool. Ganacho has got a new contract. Rashford. Well, I'll give Marcus Rashford a new contract definitely. I'm gonna I'm gonna start him in the next game. In all fairness, give him a crucial role in my team. I want to start him more because when I was getting older, so Marcus Rashford's gonna be our main man. He wants sporadic. Oh, okay. Five-year deal. What do you reckon to a five-year deal? Looking for free? Okay, we'll give him three years. That's fine. Uh, do you want a release course? Don't want one. Wait, he's on 100k. So, we'll give him give him 120 and a sign and bonus of another 100. I think I may have given too much sign and bonus. Cool. Marcus Rashford has signed a new three-year deal. He's, I'm going to have to start integrating him into the team. Elanga is fine. Um, and then comes Cristiano Ronaldo. Do we make this his last season and let him go? 
at the end of the season 37 let me know in the comments below what you think i should do oh no what's going on he's leaving it's my first goodbye oh cue the sad music hey, that's it. he's only going out alone oh savage if he's like his dad he'll be, he'll be fine as long as he don't go on strictly we're all right he'll be back soon he's only going out alone there's a bit sh is that pep guardiola in the background he didn't look happy a bit harsh that though isn't it let's be honest Charlie Savage has only gone on loan for six months. Getting some game time, which is what he needs to improve him. Right, here we go then. The Brentford game, the game before Christmas Day. One change to the team. As you can see, Marcus Rashford, who's just signed a new deal, has starts up front. The same as normal. De Gea in goal, Dallow on the right, Varane, Martinez and Balassio on the left, Eriksson and Casemiro as a holding midfielders, Anthony on the right, Sancho on the left, Fernandez as our attacking midfielder and our Capitan. And Marcus Rashford up top. Hopefully a bit of pace is what we need. A bit more pace than um, Ronaldo. Let's see if we can bag some goals. Hello and welcome. And I can tell you it was a dry walk to the gantry today. No rain in sight. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position. And alongside me is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Brentford taking on Manchester United. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Here we go, the Manchester versus Brentford. Maryland in the green, Brentford in the red and white. Hopefully we do not have a repeat of earlier on in the season in real life. And we get smashed 4 now. It didn't go according to the Manchester United script in the last game. A draw against Spurs. How do you think this one will go, Stuart? Burma. Presley. Drags it wide. First chance goes to Brentford. Fernandes has gone past. Good ball. Sancho. Looking for... Rashford. Oh, no, he's missed it. Casemiro, it's a good block. Casemiro on a volley. Didn't mean to do that. And De Gea brings it forward to Anthony. Rashford. Anthony again from Rashford. It's a good one too. To Got a bit of pace on him. Gives it Casemiro. Casemiro. Left foot. Ooh, not far off. Is it cuts it across the ball? It's always going away. From goal, always. Went for the kick off with the to start with the goal kick. Big long kick, Martinez. Rashford, it's done. It's good, done well. Looking for the runners. Sancho's there. Over the last 15 minutes and have played some really Sancho Darlow Anthony Anthony, oh, Anthony off the bar again it's the bar fucking episode Anthony there we go for Anthony the header 1-0 how many times are we going to hit the bar on this episode that's free good turn smashes the bar and then a header Keeper could have done better than that. Keepers let that one go. 
It's not a difficult save, I don't think. He's not unsighted. He's just let it go past him. Let wave flat it. One nil. Anthony again on the score sheet. How many goals has this man got this season? He's got to be double figures by now. Ten in eighteen matches. He's done well for a season. There we go. One nil. Twenty six minutes in. And Bruno couldn't keep it on. Malasia. We'll give it away. Presley. Presley. Had the chance. What happened there? There's a poor pass by Martinez. Sancho. Malasia's on the wing. Rashford. Turns. Is it? It's a daisy cut and it's easy for the keeper. And tackled. Ben Mee clears. But for, and that's it for half time. 1 0. Anthony Header. The 26th minute. It's the only goal so far. He's done well. We're playing well. We've created a few chances. Rashford's slow getting into it. Maybe because his match sharpness ain't quite there. But we'll see what happens in the second half. Oh, we still got it. Casemiro. Anthony. Fernandez. Anthony. Get around the defender. He has. Cuts back in. Corner ball. We'll have it. Looked in near post. Martinez! That's his first goal! What a header! What a goal for Martinez! It's a great header. I believe it's his first goal for the club. Makes it well, two. It's a, it's a near post corner. corner. For five foot goal. ten. It's in the top corner. What a header that is, Martinez. Gets there. And it just dips underneath the bar. Only just. Us on that crossbar have had a battle, is one word for it. We've been at war with each other, the crossbar and us. But. We'll take it. Ivan Tony's now coming on. I'm surprised he didn't start him. 40 minutes to go. They've got a bit of firepower out now. They've got to so back up um, stiffen up at the back. At we don't want to give him any chances. Jensen. Darlow. First time to oh, Anthony. Back. Casemiro. Eriksen. Sancho. No. Uh, good tackle by Eriksen. What a tackle that is. Rashford. Anthony, oh, it's a good tackle by Ben Mee, but gives it away to Casemiro. Sancho, good turn. Shot, saved. Fernandez. What a save that is. What football we've been playing. Great bit of football. Right, we score from the last corner. Can we trouble the keeper this time? Ball whipped in. Is it Martinez again off the line? Sancho gives it out to uh, Casemiro. Casimiro. Fernandez. He's in. Fernandez. Header. Oh. Bruno. Keep on rushing keeper. Should have maybe made it 3 0. The hair. Oh, it's poor fur, but Rashford gets it. Anthony, good header. Fernandez. Oh, past it. Rashford. Rashford. Oh, a good save. I think it's taken out. Well, runs into him, just falls down. Injury time then. Oh, he's falling asleep. Damn, God's in. So, Ram of a block. Martinez just didn't want to get back. He looked knackered. Brentford corner then. Keepers up for it. And over comes the corner. Casemiro clears. Darlow. Oh, this is going to shoot with Sancho from there. Referee blows the full time whistle. It finishes 2 0. A well deserved win. Clean sheet away from home as well. We will take that all 
day long. It's a nice little stadium, but but as well. It's Andrew Martinez. Two attempts, both from corners, well off the line, and one in the top bins. Man, a match performance. Clean sheet as well. Loves a tackle, that man. But it's just 2-0. Let's have a look and see where that puts us in the league. Hopefully Chelsea have lost going on to Christmas Day. So that win and draw puts us top of the league table at Christmas. Three points ahead of Chelsea who do have a game in the hand. Third are Spurs with Liverpool currently sitting in fourth spot on 36 points. But do have a game in hand as well over Spurs. Uh, Leicester sit at fifth. Man City sixth, seventh on New uh, seventh of Villa, eighth on Newcastle, ninth is Arsenal who's struggling this season, Everton pitch in tenth, Fulham in eleventh, West Ham in twelfth, Brighton thirteenth, Leeds in fourteenth, fifteenth are Brentford, sixteenth are Wolves, Nottingham Forest are out of the relegation zone and sit in seventeenth, eighteenth are Crystal Palace, Southampton are nineteenth, and Bournemouth are dead last still without a win. We still got to play Bournemouth. I think. I think we played them once already. Not sure. But what have we got coming up soon? Of course, we have a January transfer window. Hopefully, we can make some signings, some youngsters. Um, we are scouting some wonder kids. They're a thing, apparently, on FIFA 23. We'll see what we got. But then, we are going to do a transfer day special. So, we're going to play, play the Newcastle game, then do the last day of the transfer window, see if anyone comes in or out, and then we'll play the second game which is Fulham. So, black and whites, basically. Basically, basically playing black and whites before we place Arsenal and Liverpool in the next episode after that. Thank you very much for joining me today. If you have enjoyed today's episode, please click that like button. Also, smash that subscribe button if you haven't hit subscribe already and you enjoyed this content. Thank you very much for staying this long, is all I can say. And also, ring the notification bell to get notified when a new video does go live. Until next time, guys, take it steady, look after yourselves, and I'll see you all very, very soon. Until then, cheers. Bye-bye.